Talking about the spirals, for example, like these ones, they are very simple to do and they are also quite cheap because you can choose the, the wire that you prefer. You can decide to, like these ones, use aluminium and colorful or not, it's up to you. Or you can decide to also use copper wire, it's a little bit more expensive, but copper is a great material for electroculture so you can buy one of these copper rolls and do your spirals with this if you prefer personally i prefer to make spirals just with simple aluminium and to use the copper for some other special electroculture things because the material is a bit more precious and expensive the way to do the spirals uh, is very simple if you have one cone one of these cones they are made with 3D printers and they have already the spiral. It's very, very easy. But if you don't have one of these and you're not willing to buy it, you can get creative. You can, for example, if you're handy, you can do it in wood and then just build it yourself. It's not very complicated. Or you can also decide to get even more creative and use something that you can find in every house it's just a funnel and there are different sizes of course so if you have one you can try and just build your spiral along the funnel here we tested it and it's working quite well so you can use it and you can use anything that has more or less the same shape if there is like for example a bottle that has a very nice shape like more or less like this funnel or any part of furniture that could have its shape like for example the old bed structure sometimes they have a similar shape and so on and so forth so as long as you can make your own spiral it has to look nice and be a bit um, harmonious because it has to respect some proportions to be really efficient but as long as you can do something pretty and nice of any size <laughs> then uh, you're good to go and then afterwards you can use these spirals in many different ways you can put them on top of your antennas in the garden or you can use them for pots so you can do them of different sizes according to the to the pot that you want to use it for and um, they also make a very nice decoration <laughs> for example here as you can see I put some spirals in this pot you don't need to use so many, that's just for showing. One is plenty enough and uh, it's, it's very cute and it's very efficient because if you have seen uh, the video where I speak about uh, potted plants, they are really making a miracle, these little electroculture tricks for your, for your plants both house plants and garden plants so really it's cheap it's nice it's easy to do so you really should try it mm -hmm.